if you're really observant, you might have noticed two new pieces of equipment on the setup. Actually, if you notice the first, I'll be really, really surprised. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena. Welcome back to my channel. It is a clear breezy but still clear Saturday evening here in Scotland which is absolutely unheard of. The first new piece of equipment is a dew heater sitting right up top and what that's going to do is it's going to heat the lens up and stop it fogging and condensing up. The amount of subs I've had to ditch due to dew is intense so I decided to get my hands on a dew heater. The second piece of equipment is the L Enhance filter which has arrived after many weeks of back ordering which is sitting there, not th there, <laughs> in a little nose piece. If you don't already know what the L Enhance filter is built to do, it's built to block out street lights and light from sodium lamps and sort of bring forward the nebulosity. It's not as proficient as the L Extreme in cutting out the O3 lines, which is where moon glow comes in, but I'm not as worried about that as I'm shooting in new moon season anyway most of the time. I got this picture of the Andromeda Galaxy on Thursday, which I was really happy with. This was unguided 60 second exposures, and I've actually heard a lot of things to do with the read noise and the L Enhance filter, and that 60 seconds is sort of a sweet spot. So I'm hoping, hoping that that's going to work out for me. Let's get going. I just realised I never told you what I was shooting. We're shooting the Bubble Nebula. <laughs> So the wind has completely died down now. It's great because the sun is setting so quickly. It is not even half past nine and I've already started imaging. Yes, we are on the Bubble Nebula. Um, so far it's going really well. I'm doing 60 second exposures. No guiding at the minute. Now the reason for this is I'm doing my polar alignment in sharp cap and I'm gonna nail 60 second, 120 second, then 180 second exposures unguided and then when it comes to filtering guiding back in I know that my polar alignment and balancing are not the issues. So I'm already starting to make out the bubble nebula in the 60 second subs which is insane. The stars are really nicely controlled as well before they would have absolutely covered the screen it would just have been stars stealing the show but right now the star blow is right down and I am seeing exactly what I want to see. 